guys think like, okay, if this is like an effective uh, piece of advice, why don't I take it further? Okay, but there's limits. And by taking it to those extremes, it's actually having the reverse uh, effect. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I wanna to talk to you guys about taking things too far, okay? Not knowing where to draw the line when I teach you a certain principle and end up being miscalibrated, okay? And having the opposite effect, okay? Instead of the technique or advice working, you take it too far and it backfires, okay? I'm gonna give you three separate examples from three past client situations and I'm going to explain to you where things went wrong, how to avoid those pitfalls in the future so you can stop doing this, okay? Please subscribe if you have not already. Press the notification bell for new videos every day at 2 p.m. Eastern, okay? If you have not yet hopped on the phone with me or one of my coaches, okay, we're offering free coaching calls, strategy sessions, 30 minutes, okay? We can break down where you're at in the game, tell you what we can do for you, okay? Check out the link in the description for that. So case number one, we had uh, very recently, I had, a client that said, basically he, a lot of his interactions were very platonic. He, I told him he needed to sexualize things. Okay, that includes being physical, that includes having uh, sexual verbals, making sexual innuendos. So he took that so far to the point of where he wanted to ask the girl, like, hey, nice tits, like, can I touch them? Can you show a nipple? That's going too far. All right, that's gonna weird most girls out. It's going to be too over the top. Rather than going from platonic to show me a nipple or let me touch your breasts, you would tone it back, you'd make innuendos, but then if the girl's offended, you can back off a little bit, okay? Luckily, he sent this to me over text as part of his plan of stuff he was going to say, okay, before actually doing it. Case number two, uh, this is a guy who is in my mastermind, and I, t I tell guys if she's ignored like two or three messages, you can say something that's like slightly controversial to her, okay? You can say, for instance, do you know why you suck? Okay, that's a phrase that came from mystery, and he was saying that to girls in person. Okay, if the girl was being very difficult, he would say that, and the girl would have a pretty interesting reaction to it because everyone wants to know why someone thinks they suck. Okay, I moved that over to text, and if a girl doesn't respond two or three times, I don't always use it, but it's one okay tool. They usually respond pretty fast. Okay, so he sent that. The girl said, "Enlighten me," and then what I tell guys to do after that. It's just to say, oh, well, you know, you've been being difficult or purposely flaky or whatever, and we could have had a good connection potentially, but, you know, you're being difficult. When are you free? Are you actually interested in meeting up? Or, like, when are you free to actually meet up? That's how you really play it, okay? But he took it so far. She, he said, you know why you suck? She said, enlighten me. He said, uh, you being like this is worse than the looting that's going on in the United States right now, okay? Now, <laughs> my response was, this girl, this was over Tinder. So this girl has no investment yet. She has no compliance with you. And she's, she was being non-compliant before. Throwing in an insult here has close to a 0% chance of that girl uh, being interested in meeting up with you. Okay, because she, like I said, she has no compliance, no investment. You shouldn't be insulting the girl. Okay, even, even if you're, it's a regular girl you're seeing, it's simply not a good move or a solid play. So the correct move would have just been after you said that slightly calling out thing, okay, not a hard call out, but the just slight little thing that's gonna get her, re her to respond. That's when you go into trying to reset the logistics. And last but not least, number three, I had a client in Las Vegas. The girl said, um, and again, this was one where he didn't consult me first, but the girl said, okay, I'm gonna come over and meet up with you, but I just wanna make sure you're normal first. Like, prove to me that you're normal or show me that you're normal. And his response to the girl, which I saw after the fact, after he did the damage and sent the screenshot, was he thought, okay, what would a normal guy do? So he said, I like to wash dishes. Okay, he's red flagging himself because that sounds fucking strange as fuck. Okay, even though he's trying to be normal. I'm going to go over the pattern here in, in a second uh, between these three scenarios. And he said, I also like, he said, I'm also friends with DJ Tiesto, okay, who's a famous electronic music DJ because he was trying to sound cool, okay? So what, what would a normal guy do? He would wash dishes. What would the cool guy do? He'd be friends with DJ Tiesto. Therefore, to be the normal cool guy, I'm gonna say these two things. That's, that's the thought process, that's the logic that goes, that's going on, okay? In those other situations, he's trying to say like, yeah, this was not just bad that you were not responding, but it's worse than the looting, okay? The guys think like, okay, if this is like an effective uh, piece of advice, why don't I take it further, okay? But there's limits, 
And by taking it to those extremes, it's actually having the reverse uh, effect. In the case with the girls wanting to be normal, you actually, I would just, like, okay, like if the girl was like, show me that you're normal, I'd be like, ha, 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 I'm really laid back, don't worry, right? Like, ha, 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 it'll be fine, don't worry, like, I get along with everyone, ha, ha. Right, like what a real, what an actual normal person would say. Don't try to logic it out. Don't try, like you don't, you don't need to take the principle and then take it to the extreme. Okay, it doesn't mean like okay, if I'm gonna be sexual, that means I'm gonna ask this girl to like touch her breasts and see her nipple. Too much, too soon. I'm not faulting these guys. All three of these guys um, didn't know any better. With experience and more uh, social calibration, you can adjust and you can know where those limits are. Okay, but in general, don't try to be. And each of those things, they're trying to be like, okay, look at the first one. He's trying to be like the sexual guy, right? So rather than just playfully and naturally make sexual innuendos and jokes, he's trying to write them out in advance in an extreme way so that thinking that the more intense the sexual thing, the more effect it will have, okay? But that's mistaken thinking. The second guy with doing the call out by saying like, okay, like I'm, you know, quote unquote punishing this girl for not responding by telling her, you know, that she's, you know, that, that he basically thinks she sucks. Why don't I take it further and like punish her more and say this is worse than the looting? That's lacking some social intelligence, okay? Any girl that, that doesn't have any connection to you, imagine if you didn't have a connection to a girl and you didn't respond a couple times and she said to you, oh, like what you're doing is worse than, than the mass looting in the US. Like, you'd be like, fuck this girl, right? Or I'd, I'd probably laugh, but <laughs> most people would be like, fuck this girl, right? Like, I don't owe anything to this girl. And then, of course, in the third case, with the dude, uh, trying to be normal, he's thinking like, okay, uh, how do I be the most normal possible? What's like the most normal activity? Okay, it's washing dishes. And then for good measure, let's throw in that I know Tiesto, right? And of course, the conclusion of that story is the girl did not meet up. She's like, uh, bye, right? Like, and it, and it's, it's painful from my end as the coach because these guys are so close in a lot of cases, right? Like, like the girl's literally like, hey, I'm going to come over, like, just a quick sanity check. Are you normal? She's looking... And that's why she's asking that because if you're trying to be this little pickup like gamey guy or you're trying to like you know do these things for these big effects you're going to say you wash dishes okay and, and then she can save herself some time because you're going to look fucking weird so rather than trying to be the, the sexual guy rather than trying to be like the punishing guy rather than trying to be the the normal guy just be yourself but believe in your value okay not in an egoistic or arrogant way watch my video uh, from a few days ago on the best mindset. It tells you exactly the mindset you need to have. Okay, you're, you're confident and assured of the fact that you're gonna get the girl. Okay, then you're set, let's look at those each of those three things again, the proper way to do them. Why are you sexualizing so that you're not platonic and ending up in the friend zone? That doesn't mean take it to an extreme. Why are you calling the girl out? Because she hasn't responded a few times. You're kind of putting her decision. Like, are you, are you actually interested in meeting up, okay? And I, in PS, I'm not happy with the fact that you're not responding, okay? But it's not going all the way to an insult. Even though you know why you suck is kind of an insult. That's, it's pretty polarizing, but that's about as polarizing as you want to get. You don't want to take it beyond that. And then to be the nice guy, or to be the normal guy, um, stop trying to be the normal guy and just be normal. Like, like literally the definition of being the normal guy is like not doing fancy, gamey, contrived shit, okay? So this was kind of a you know, a meta example where a guy trying to be normal tried to do like the, you know, the archetype of a normal person and it backfired. I hope these stories um, resonate with you guys. Keep these things in mind as you are moving forward. At the end of the day, you don't want to be doing fancy gamey stuff and you don't want to be trying to use any of these tactics to like an extreme level or kind of like as a magic bullet thing. It's not like, okay, I need to sexualize. Therefore, if I say this nipple line, Therefore, I'll bang the girl. Okay, I need to call the girl out when she's, you know, being non-compliant. Therefore, I'm going to tell her it's worse than looting. Okay, I need to be normal here, so I'm going to think of the most normal activity possible. No, that's, this is the wrong type of thinking. Get out of that. Stop doing that. Get out of this type of thinking. Just be cool. Nothing's a big deal. Assume you got the girl. Okay, make things happen. Sexualize so that you're not in the friend zone. Um, enforce boundaries and call out things as you need. And being normal just takes care of itself, okay, by not being fancy. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, again, the link is in the description. If you want to take this stuff a lot further, okay, I've seen and done it all in this game, get on a call with me or one of my coaches. It's 30 minutes, free, no obligation. Link is in the description, and we'll go over what we can do with you uh, to take things to the next level. Okay, And 
As always, subscribe if you have not already. Click the button for subscribe below. And there's new videos every day at 2 p.m. Eastern. Okay, lots of cool stuff coming. And I will see you guys on the next video. Enjoy your weekend. I'm John Anthony. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.